千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Eric Lin, where we take a deep dive into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. I would like to invite you to center your thoughts and direct your attention to this moment in time, to the here and now, to be fully present and mindfully aware, as we all ready ourselves for this sacred process in the Tao. With one another, so this slide is called Lao Tzu and the Ancients. Lao Tzu had tremendous respect for the Tao sages and cultivators who came before him. They were his predecessors. This respect was reflected in his words when he wrote the Tao Te Ching, as I mentioned, which was a summary, his summary, of the Tao principles that he had learned from all the scrolls of the classics. And his summary, the Tao Te Ching, of course, has been studied by subsequent generations ever since. And point in fact, when we talk about the ancients, the previous chapter 14, that is the first mention of the ancients in all of Tao Te Ching. That's where he talked about wielding the ancient Tao to manage present-day life. And here are some more examples about the ancients. Tao Te Ching 22. In this chapter, Lao Tzu quotes the ancients, indicating he viewed them as the authority on the Tao. In this case, he talked, he spoke of what the ancients taught about being non-contentious. In other words, harmony, a recurring theme in the Tao Te Ching. Then we have another example in Tao Te Ching 62. In this chapter, Lao Tzu says the ancients value the Tao above everything in the material world. As of the things in the material world, it didn't matter what it was. It could be the most valuable treasure, or The most opulent spectacle. None of it could compare to the Tao. This was true of the ancients. It was true of Lao Tzu. As I study the Tao more and more, I find that it is also becoming very true for myself. Then, lastly, as our final example, out of quite a few more. We have Tao Te Ching 68. In this chapter, Lao Tzu points out that harmony is the ultimate principle of the ancients. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness. <laughs>